Yugoslavia was not the name of a country that was one size fits all. It encapsulates three separate states that underwent profound transformations from their inception to their dissolution. Initially formed post-World War I, then re-established as a socialist federation under Josip Broz Tito after the devastating World War II, and finally reconfigured as a ghost of its glory past in the 1990s amidst civil war. Each version of Yugoslavia tells a unique story of unity, conflict, and change. The first Yugoslavia emerged following the collapse of the Habsburg Empire in the aftermath of World War I, officially known as the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes, later renamed the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1929. This state was marked by its efforts to consolidate diverse ethnic groups of predominantly Southern Slavs, hence the country's name, under the Serbian-originating Karadjordjevic royal family's rule. However, the kingdom was short-lived in the grand scheme, succumbing to the brutal Nazi occupation during World War II. The most recognized and enduring version of Yugoslavia was the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, established by legendary Marshal Tito after the heroic resistance of partisans to the occupying Nazis and their even more brutal collaborators. This autonomous socialist federation comprised six republics, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia, along with two autonomous provinces within Serbia, Kosovo and Vojvodina. A famous joke encapsulates the intricate makeup of this country, six republics, five nations, four languages, three religions, two alphabets, and one party. Under Tito's charismatic leadership, Yugoslavia charted an independent course during the Cold War, distancing itself from the Soviet bloc and fostering a unique brand of socialism on the basis of self-management that allowed some market liberalization and foreign investment. Yugoslavia, under Tito's leadership, achieved remarkable feats that marked it as a beacon of prosperity and unity in a complex geopolitical landscape. It emerged as a magnet for tourists, drawn by its breathtaking landscapes and cultural diversity, while its citizens enjoyed unprecedented freedom of travel, both to the East and the Western blocs. Yugoslavia transformed into an industrialized nation, boasting significant advancements in public services. It played a pivotal role in the non-aligned movement, commanding respect and prestige on the global stage by advocating for the interests of third world countries. Its military, self-sufficient and formidable, underscored Yugoslavia's commitment to autonomy and defense. Most notably, the Federation maintained peace among its multi-ethnic and diverse society. Yugoslavia was home to various avant-garde art movements and styles. They even managed to develop a significant space program and know-how. Yugoslav sports, especially basketball and football, achieved international acclaim, further buoyed by the successful hosting of the 1984 Winter Olympics in Sarajevo, showcasing not only the country's organizational prowess, but also its spirit of unity and achievement. However, the seeds of Yugoslavia's dissolution were sown long before its actual collapse. Ethnic tensions, economic disparities between the republics, and the stifling of nationalist sentiments under the loosened federal system began to surface more prominently after Tito's death in 1980. Despite all efforts, Yugoslavia was Tito. Tito was Yugoslavia. So the 1980s without Tito saw a decline in the economy, a rise in nationalism, and a weakening of the central government's authority. The final act of Yugoslavia's existence unfolded in the early 1990s, when a series of political upheavals and ethnic conflicts gaslighted by Western manipulation led to the violent disintegration of the Federation. The desire for independence among various ethnic groups spiraled into a series of civil wars that devastated the country, ultimately leading to the formation of new independent states. By 1992, the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia ceased to exist. The Yugoslavia that remained after these wars was a reduced federation consisting only of Serbia and Montenegro, officially known as the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. This entity, too, was short-lived, as Montenegro's 2006 referendum on independence effectively dissolved the ghost state of Yugoslavia, 
replacing it with two independent nations and closing, at least for the moment, the chapter on a country that had once sought to unite diverse peoples under a single flag.